Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at some security measures for your system to prevent Microsoft getting your telemetry data and potentially watching your keystrokes. This is pretty serious, and uh, I don't know why this is actually in the operating system. I know why it is because they want your data, they want to know what you're doing, but potentially, if someone got their hands on this information, especially your key logging data, that's uh, pretty scary stuff. So we're going to take a look today at the Windows Firewall, and we're actually going to use the Microsoft Windows Firewall to block its own servers. So let's get straight into it on the computer. Now, first of all, before we get into this, I should thank winero.com. Uh, they're a fantastic site. They've got some really handy tips and tricks, so I certainly suggest you check them out. And actually, we're going to be using a lot of their information and data from their website today as we go through this tutorial. We will be adding a little bit of extra value for those of you that are on Windows 11 or are on a slightly newer version of Windows 10, as some of this has actually changed. So this uh, at the time of making the video should be the most up-to-date information. So what we're going to want to do is to actually create some new firewall rules. So in order to do that, you go down to search and type in control for control panel. And you basically want to open up your control panel, but we want the older version of this. So if we go to here and choose small icons, and then we can choose our Windows Defender firewall, which is located here. When you open up this, this gives you some basic information, but we want a little bit more depth in this. So what you want to do is to head into advanced settings. Now in this section, you can see what Windows Firewall is actually doing. So you've got your inbound rules, your outbound rules, monitoring and all that kind of stuff. The one we're going to be focusing mostly on is going to be outbound rules. So this is information about you actually going out of your system. So you can actually use the Windows Firewall to prevent some of these things happening. So once we've got those open, Let's uh, proceed, we can minimize those. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, you can do this all by command line if you want to. There is actually gonna be a script which is gonna be linked in the video description which you can download and run. This again is from winero.com, so totally safe. But just to give you an idea of how this actually works, you can do it individually. So there's a whole bunch of rules here which we need to add. You can add them all manually if you want to, if you have the time. But to show you how it works, we're gonna just copy this single section here Right click, choose copy, and then we're going to open up a command prompt. And we're going to choose it as an elevated one, so running as administrator. You will get the user account control come up, so click on yes. And essentially all you want to do is do control V or paste, and you can paste that in there. So basically you're running a net sh command for the firewall, telling it the location, IP addresses, etc., and also the enable yes flag. So if we hit enter, we get the OK message. So that is now added that into our firewall. So if we go back over to our firewall tab and we check for outbound rules. We can see now we've got a new one at the top here, which is called telemetry underscore Watson dot telemetry dot Microsoft dot com. So this has blocked the Dr. Watson telemetry from being sent out of your computer to the Microsoft server. So hopefully it makes sense. And it's also got the remote address. Now these may change over time but hopefully this will uh, remain pretty constant. So we can close this down now because we're not going to do all of those by the command prompt. That would just be a waste of time and effort. So there's various ways you can do it. You can, if you want to, just copy and paste all this and put it into PowerShell and do it that way. But they've actually made it really easy. So you can just basically download all of this. So if you scroll to the bottom here, there's an option, download block telemetry rules file for Windows 10. It does work with Windows 11 as well, so just in case you're wondering. And for those of you that are on Windows 7 and Windows 8, you're not immune to this as well, so you may want to do this as well. So we're going to click on this one, download block telemetry rules file, scroll down a little bit until you get to this download link, click on here to download the file. And for ease of this video, I'm just going to save this to the Windows desktop. It is a zipped file, so we will need to unzip it shortly. Once you're happy, click on save. And once you've done that, you can actually click on the back button because there is something else we're going to need to do a little bit later after we've done this. So we're going to minimize this, go back to our file, right click on it and choose extract all. We're going to extract it back to our desktop. And there we go. So there is the command. There is the PowerShell script. And if we uh, open this, you can see exactly what is in there. So if you've got any concerns about what is actually going in here, you can have a manual scan through and verify or validate these individually. Also in this folder, there is a readme text, which you're more than welcome to open and take a look through. Basically explains what is going on here. So we close that. 
And all we need to do is to run this. So the add rules command. So double click. And it will say, do you want to allow this? Click yes. And you'll see OK lots and lots of times because it's running through all those individual entries. And you get a message there saying rules should be included in the firewall. Press any key to continue. When you press any key, this window will close, as you can see there. So now we can head back over to the firewall rules section. And if we uh, refresh that, we've now got all of these things in here, mostly Microsoft and things to do with Microsoft, etc., for the telemetry. So this is all well and good. We've now set up our firewall, so it's blocking outbound traffic to all these weird and wonderful addresses. So that's a whole bunch of stuff there. So as far as we're concerned at the moment, we're pretty happy that all of our outgoing telemetry data has been blocked at the source, i.e. your computer. So at this point, we can close this section down, get rid of that, and now you'd think you're pretty much safe and secure, but you're not because there is actually still a service running in the background that Microsoft is still trying to log your keystrokes. So we're gonna head over and try and fend that off straight away. Now in order to do that, just type in services and you can get into the services app. And essentially what you wanna do is to scroll down until you can find a specific section. Now on Windows 10 and Windows 11 with certain updates, part of this doesn't actually exist. So we're actually looking for a section here called the Diagnostics Tracking Service. So if you're on a slightly older version of Windows, you can find those, the Diagnostic Tracking Service. So just go into Services, scroll down through until you find it. On this particular edition of Windows, we don't have it. So you actually have to scroll and look for something else. And they've renamed it to make it a little bit harder to find. So what you wanna find is this one here. So Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This is the one. So as you can see, currently this is actually running. So I'm gonna double click on it and you see the Diag Track. So this is the uh, basically Windows telemetry. Currently it's set to automatic start, delayed start. Yours may say automatic. So stop the service by clicking that. This will take a little while. Then what you can do is use the down arrow and then choose disabled. Then click on apply, click okay. And that is it, you're pretty much done. So you can close all this down and close down any other windows. I would suggest doing a quick reboot of your PC just to make sure that the services are actually stopped and also the Windows firewall is restarted to make sure that everything is nicely blocked. So there you go, pretty straightforward, not difficult to do. Again, all the links for this from the winarrow.com site will be in the video description below. So please feel free to uh, join along with that. Again. The last bit actually disabling the telemetry as a service is pretty important, so I'd certainly suggest doing that. And don't forget, if you can't find it as the diagnostic tracking service or control, then do look for the other one as highlighted in the video. If you've got any comments or questions, as always, we're open to those, so let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you need a little bit more help, we do have a Discord, which is completely free to join. You're more than welcome there. And also, we will try and help you with other Windows and general computing tasks should you need them. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then maybe consider subscribing and clicking on the Chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.